In this video report, I'm going to discuss four reasons no one is able to catch Tesla, at least for now. In BanyanHill.com, a young king has reported four reasons no one is catching Tesla, and I'm going to summarize kind of that report for you, friends. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armen Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel if you would like to receive daily Tesla news, and please ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story so some insights first of all from you it's nearly impossible to catch a market leader with a dec decade long head start as microphones microsoft learned tesla has that advantage in the electric vehicle field and it's growing larger by the day and discover the four reasons that the competition will never catch up to Tesla. So Yang King in BanyanHill.com is discussing these four reasons and talking about these three things. Here's what he says. He says that in 2011, software giant Microsoft launched Microsoft Mobile. This endeavor established a major partnership with Finnish mobile phone maker Nokia. If you remember Nokia, under the agreement, Nokia would exclusively produce smartphones using the Windows phone platform. But the new venture did did not fare so well. Why? Each time Microsoft spent millions marketing a new Windows phone, it was met with very little fanfare. Mobile consumers would flock to phone stores and return home with either a new iPhone or Samsung. In 2014, Microsoft doubled down on its Windows phone platform by acquiring Nokia's devices and services division for $7.2 billion. A year later, it took a $7.8 billion write down and announced the layoffs of 7,800 employees. This is one of the best, biggest, this is one of the, actually the biggest business mistakes of the last few decades. Microsoft have entered the smartphone business too late to catch up to Samsung or Apple. Mark Twain reputedly said, history does not repeat itself, but it often rims. A similar situation is playing out in the race to dominate the electric vehicle market as Tesla's decade-long head start looks insurmountable, says uh, uh, Yang King in the Banyan. So, and he says that one of the biggest, if not the biggest stories of the 2020s will be the battery storage revolution. This will have a huge impact on the cars we drive, the way we power our homes and the environment. In the last 10 years, Years, the price of lithium-ion batteries dropped over by 90% and it will continue to drop into the 2020s and we expect the major drop in price per uh, kilowatt hour to here when Tesla announces its battery days. Then Young continues saying that the specific reason the automotive market will be transformed by cheaper battery power is less about the environment and more about economics. In the next few years, the cost of producing an electric vehicle will be cheaper than producing a gas car and there are fewer moving parts in the electric vehicle which means maintenance costs over the life of the vehicle are significantly cheaper you'll never need to change an electric vehicle engine oil coolant transmission fluid or belts that's why the electric vehicle market is expected to surge 16 percent 16 actually i'm sorry 16 fold from 1.73 million cars sold in 2020 to 25.8 million cars annually in 2030 within 10 years 16 fold cheaper denser batteries will transform how we use energy from cars to air conditioning to flying and since tesla has the leading edge in battery development it's set to dominate this energy and automotive revolution now why tesla will always dominate the electric vehicle space while we might hear of traditional automotive companies launching new electric ev platforms there are four key reasons tesla is still best positioned to dominate this space first jan says the first reason that jan brings is batteries Tesla has a decade-long lead on battery development. It's not only the leader in the battery pack design, but also in the chemistry and performance. Additionally, it has the production capacity needed to build electric vehicles at scale. Tesla's battery lifespan is already 300,000 to 500,000 miles, and Elon Musk is getting ready to reveal a battery that can even last 1 million miles in September 22nd at 
Tesla Battery Day event in Fremont, uh, California. The second reason no one is able to catch the Tesla's dominance, uh, dominance in EV space, Jan says, is motors engine. No other automaker has an electric motor on the market that can compete with the ratio of the Tesla Model 3. Consider this. At a base price of $37,990, the Model 3 is roughly the price of Chevy Volt. But the Tesla auto performs the Chevy in acceleration and steering. The third reason Jan talks about in this article is charging. Tesla has spent the past half decades building out its 1,600 supercharger network with over 14,000 superchargers available. With these fast charging stations, most Teslas can be fully charged in 30 minutes. This gives Tesla a clear advantage on long road trips. And the fourth reason Jan discusses in his article is autonomy. Elon Musk designed and built Tesla's full self-driving computer, he says, which can be downloaded on new vehicles like a new piece of software. This is the nail in the coffin for traditional automakers, which are just as far behind in autonomy as they are in battery technology. There are, these are the four reasons why Tesla is uniquely positioned to dominate the electric vehicle industry in the next decade, Jan says. It's also why it has insurmountable head start of the electric vehicle market. He also says that in 2020, Tesla is expected to earn around $6 a share, but that starts to climb dramatically this decade. By 2022, the company could earn $31 a share, and by 2025, Tesla could take in $80 a share. This is based on assumptions that Tesla can sell 3.2 million vehicles in 2021, 25, up from 500,000 this year. Imagine. In within 500 years, Tesla may go from selling 500,000 vehicles to 3.2 million vehicles. While Tesla is trading for an absurd 70 times 20 in 2022 earnings per share, if you look at where the company could be headed in the next five years, that multiple doesn't look so absurd, he says. And if we learned anything from the Microsoft phone saga, Sage saga, it's that it can be nearly impossible to catch a clear market leader, he says. That's why I look forward, he says, to these massive winners ahead of time when the bears are still sure that companies such as Tesla are doomed to fail. It's how he says he locked in a 550% gain on Tesla for his automatic fortunes readers by keeping an eye on tipping point trends that are charging life as we know. Now friends, uh, Young King has very good reasons. I agree with him. Uh, he look, looks like that. It, this looks like that he is in the market. Looks like he is a Tesla bulls. He may have Tesla shares. I personally don't have any Tesla shares. I've told many times I'm not in the market. This is why if you see a uh, Talk News Channel, which reports five, four, five Tesla stories daily. We don't. I don't even have a Tesla stock report. But I agree with him regarding the batteries, motors, charging, and autonomy. Um, these are four clear advantages that Tesla has over its competitors. But I also say that the competitors are working really well. Mercedes has very serious uh, electric car plans. GM has very serious electric car plans. Who has? Um, Volkswagen is very serious in his electric car plans and um, I think uh, the least I would say is Toyota which doesn't have still single electric car in the market except plug-in uh, hybrids and things like that but uh, comp competition is coming up and competition has some other strengths that can play against Tesla we just have to see uh, I just wanted to say that uh, time will show but Tesla's batteries Tesla's motors charging and autonomy are clear advantages but i'm saying that the competition may also have its own uh, advantages which time will show so far things are going well for tesla and um, let me know what you think about these advantages let me also know really a serious conversation what do you think about the competition's advantages because a good tesla manager should really respectfully look at the competition and say okay they have these strong points how am i going to uh, 
counter that? What am I going to propose against that? So what do you think those can be? What would you say? Let me hear that in the comment section below, please, uh, friends. Maybe I can one day do a report about serious competition that is coming for Tesla. In the meantime, this is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you are here first time for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. And also let's like this video to show our appreciation of Jans and his article who uh, with four advantages that he talked about Tesla. And I'll see you in our next report. God bless you. Take good care of each other and see you soon, friends.